Hey guys, it's Dark Kobe here, and we are here for DK 103, where we are here on the map Shikuris Plateau, and it's going to be a game between ATN Sak or Sake, but I'm going to call him Sakura as as uh, for now. I'm gonna, and he's going to go against Liquid TLO, and uh, I'm sure you guys know who T uh, TLO is. Uh, he's pretty popular. If you haven't heard him, then you've probably been living in a cave or something. Um, but <laughs> Uh, he is going against Sak as well, but, uh, who is also a popular player. So uh, these guys are are uh, pretty pros and pretty pretty well known. So it's going to be quite an interesting game. I'm not sure how it's going to play out as TLO is pretty known for his creativity. So you you really can't expect or know or assume what he's going to do in general. Sak is more of a solid player. Um, I haven't really saw uh, seen much a lot of his game as much as TLO but he is pretty uh, solid and pretty standard and he does have a uh, but he does have a uh, great builds that are unique and creative at times so here we have him spawning at the north east no northwest position and TLO is going to spawn in the northeast position so this going to be a this going to be a cast uh, more so than in the commentary uh, analysis and stuff so I mean this is gonna be a best of three so the first person that wins the first two games is gonna probably win this uh, series but this is as I am informed as much as I am informed is pretty just a pretty regular game pretty, uh, regular series no I'm not sure it's in from a tournament but uh, this is gonna be just a regular game as as I am informed and uh, we have a regular standard build from both Sock and TLO, just refinery with barracks. And for Sock, it's just going to be a gateway with a simulator. And he's joined down the cybernetics core. And he, TLO is actually going to lift his barracks and not wall off. He's just going to make a tech lab. It'll be interesting if uh, Sock going to go in and scout once more to see and check it out. But he does have a marine, so. I'm pretty sure Sock is not gonna go back in and scout much or scout anything as this Marine's gonna scare that probe away. Cause this guy is so muscular, you don't wanna face him. This guy is oh he is scary right here. Can't even see his face. Can we see his face? No? Oh yeah. So uh we do have a expansion coming up for TLO, so he's gonna do a one gate. I mean one barracks into expansion so this is a uh, pretty pretty common We've seen it before There's nothing out of the ordi ordinary or anything we do see stalker coming out for sock as he's gonna chase this SCV as he does not want him to scout anything and he is probably gonna scout nothing much out of the ordinary we'll see what he has in his camera view he just only scouts the gateway and cybernetics core so we did have a, a a Reaper coming out for TLO as now uh, now Sock actually scouts this and is probably gonna be prepared to put a stalker around the edges of his base or his uh, sentry. We do have the second gas coming for Sock, so he is gonna go for a one gate expand. So one Rax expand for TLO and one ra uh, gate for uh, expand for Sock. So it's gonna be pretty much a macro game from now on as we do have the second gateway coming for Sock and this marine has no chance of surviving as this stalker outranges but this stalker is going to go across two marauders and he's going to back out Sock is going to back out of those two marauders because these marauders are even scarier than the marines yeah they're beefy and got those armors and stuff and uh I won't, um, yeah, this, the Reaper is gonna go from the backside, so he's gonna do a frontal attack from the fr uh, from the front with the Marauders, and then just back from the. I don't know. He's just gonna go for the destructible rocks, which I'm not really sure why, because usually you don't want him to destroy these rocks, as it will give um, Sock a, a basically a, a expansion to go to right here. 
So TLO is going to go in and scout with uh, these Marauders, see what damage he can do. And he's going to target fire the sentry and he's going to have to pull probes off. So we'll see in the income tab if he, see if he does lose a lot of probes or not. But it does look like Sock will hold this off with um, not as much casualty as he should have. I'm not sure if he has concussion shells. He did have, but no stim pack. So we're going to see a, a barrack heavy for um, T Liquid TLO. And we do see three tech labs. So no reactors on the tech lab. Uh, no reactors on the barracks. So we're just going to see Marauders pumping out from these racks. We do see another rack. So he's probably going to go for a very bio heavy army with mostly Marauders as his Reaper is still alive. We do see in the income tab that Sock is ahead as he is getting his Immortal. And I'm not sure this is gonna be a really close match as uh this is gonna the force view will be very important on this match, this battle. And the Reaper does go in from behind. Oh he is gonna go engage with the Reaper. I would have loved to see the Reaper harass the probes instead, but with the force field, um this attack will be thwarted by Sock and he TLO is forced to retreat. You will probably send these Marauders to the Watchtowers. As uh, we do see Sock have an Observer and he is moving out with his Mini Force right here. So it's going to be kind of... Oh, he does have some reinforcement, but it's going to be kind of dangerous. Um, especially if they flank the army right here. But with this Immortal, this Immortal will be the key to this battle as... The Immortal is going to get sniped off and his army is split right now. So, so Sock is going to be split in terms of his army and... And I think TLO will defeat this army. It's nothing much but three, only three soccer's and one, one star, uh, uh, one soccer and three zealots. And just so many marauders left over for TLO. So and he's going for the expansion. Wow. So uh, at at this point, I would say TLO is pretty much ahead, especially since he uh, sock lost his army. As that was a boat, that was just basically his whole army right there. So. So he is going to go engage and more force field as force field is the only thing that could save him right now. But he ha has run out of force field so these marauders even though they are some of them are in low life they I think they could have killed uh, this army right here but TLO not taking any chances he's going to reinforce this army and I'm just surprised he's just going all all marauders at this point. He is throwing down the the tank I mean the the factory with the reactor and he's getting a starport so we do see two engineering base so most likely he's gonna go for a bio heavy army and look for TLO even though he is not he's uh, equal in harvest right now looking for him to to go way ahead as he does have the second expansion with a, a orbital command so this is gonna be a lot of mules coming down for, for TLO and TLO is gonna go for a tech lab for on his starport so uh, no use for this reactor up right now. Just gonna leave one Marauder just to see if the army is gonna push out. So let's see in the army tab right now is pretty much even at the moment. No upgrades so far for both players as Sock does take out that Marauder. Now TLO I uh, with this bunker and with the extra base he will he, he just needs to probably wait it out gain some more economy get the advantage increase the advantage as right now um, Sock does not really have a lot of answer for these immortals as he does have a uh, two I mean uh, these marauders uh, my mistake uh, he does have two immortals but I don't know if it's enough and he does have a colossus so he is switching to colossus and I, I'm not sure if he uh the classes will do much with you, you, you rarely see uh, one classes push but because uh, you want at least two to four or more and here's the engagement It's gonna be uh, a really close match but these force field will be really important so let's see how this goes it's gonna be a really close match as there is some Marines right here so the classes is doing a, a good amount of damage and he is running out of force field apparently and so he's he should uh, retreat at right now but TLO is going to bring his SCVs and he's going to probably, yes he is going to defend this attack as there is another flank around here but more reinforcement coming and this is going to be close but I think with the 
with the Marauder, I think this is going to be um, thwarted off by, by TLO as he does have the one upgrade right now. So Sock is going to lose as it's just going to be Marauder versus Stalker and we of course know who's going to win on that one, the Marauders of course. So this attack, I mean Sock really need to, needed a lot, of, a lot of damage on that attack as he pretty much is one base behind as he's getting his, his uh, second expansion just right now. So you can see in the, I mean the a TLO just has 2.2k around it, 2.6 now. 2.7 over the 1.6 for um, for Sock at right now. So at this moment, I'm not sure if uh, Sock has enough to deal with these so much Marauders right now. Marine Marauder and Medivax. He uh, he did switch the the starport to the reactor to get the Viking to the, get the Vikings as well as the Medivac. Apparently, he's not getting any Vikings, but. Uh, he, he wants to get the medevacs out right now just to heal his marauders that they they do have um, half life around there as they use the stem and you can see the harvest is getting away ahead for TLO the army is increasing for TLO as well and no upgrades for Sok as well so these the, the liquid TLO does have does have the upgrade advantage as he does have one more upgrade coming up which is the weapon level 2 and here's the engagement He's gonna do a, a mini flank right here as he does get the wash towers and he's looked for the Colossus to be sniped out and the Colossus gets sniped out so so um, this force from TLO is probably gonna be overwhelming for, for Saka as I, I'm not sure what he can do at this moment he yes uh, so doing the smart thing TLO is gonna get out and take out the expansion and he also getting the the dirt expansion as well so I mean smart by TLO as he is gonna he won that attack uh, pretty much in uh, with good numbers left over good amount of marauders and marines left over so why not expand you know increase your lead he is uh, as you can see um, keeping his uh, money low so he's not slipping on macro and he's gonna do a drop, and he's gonna do a frontal attack. So, put keeping up the pressure on the Protoss as you you don't want him to build up and you know win with the build up of Colossus. So he's just gonna do a double prong attack in the front and in the back, and he's gonna snipe out the Colossus, and this Colossus goes down. And uh, I think it's just GG. There's so many Marine Marauders, and and Sock does can't really do much at this point. And there is a GG by Sock. So. So TLO taking the first game pretty convincingly, I would say, and so he takes the one, first game, and um, we'll see if he if Sock can get back into his groove and win the second game because uh, Sock, I know Sock is pre uh, really good. He he is capable and very capable of defeating TLO, um, as TLO is still is a great player nonetheless, but. Um, it'll be interesting to see uh, how how Sock comes back from this. So, so I guess uh, we'll see you guys next time. And uh, remember, guys, know your station. Peace.